Hello, this is my Friday vlog. I'm actually doing it. Oh my gosh, okay. <laughs> Trying to make sure you see me. Um, just relaxing on the couch today. I uh, had a very lazy day today. It's Friday. Oh, oh you guys can see me better this way. Um, it's been very rainy and dreary today. The weather's actually been really beautiful here in Massachusetts, but it's kind of a lazy day, dreary. I didn't even do my hair, <laughs> the mess or makeup. Um, but I wanted to do a little vlog for you guys on Friday, like I usually do. This week for Jordan, finished, Jordan didn't finish school on Tuesday this week. And then they have finals, so they've been only ha been having like Jordan only went to school half an hour today. Well, 40 minutes today, I should say, not half an hour for a final. Then he was done, and yesterday he only had like an hour. Actually, not even an hour. 45 minutes he had yesterday of school for his one final, and then the day before it was only an hour and a half. He had one final also, and then Monday where there's no school Monday because it's um, Memorial Day weekend. So I hope you all have a really good Memorial Day. And let me know what you guys usually do on Memorial Day. Um, we really, when the kids were younger, sometimes we'd go to the beach with them, depending, or we'd stay here where we, in Massachusetts, where we live. We have a, a little town parade. It's kind of dwindled a little more on the boring side every year. You know, people try to revive it with more interesting things in the parade. I mean, it's really for the kids, so we used to do that if we were home, bring the kid, Jordan and Sean, to the parade, and, um, you know, they used to love it. They were little, you know, it was exciting for them. They got balloons, they got to have ice cream, they got to see, they were clowns, things like that. So they used to, you know, when they were little, they used to love it. Um, this week, this year, we're really not doing much. I mean, we're not doing much, us parents. I don't know if Jordan's going anywhere. I know last year I think Jordan, I don't know if Danny went to, I think Jordan went to the beach last year with his friends. Um, and Sean had a friend over last year or he went to a friend's house in Warren and my husband and I, their dad, just, I don't even remember, we were here, we didn't go anywhere. Oh, God, this is the way the weather's been, I've been so lazy today because of the weather being so blah. Um... We're actually going to just, Jordan's dad and I are staying home. We have a lot of things we want to do in the yard, so that's where we're going to be doing yard work um, this weekend, and kind of just us two. And the boys will probably end up having friends over, or going to a friend's house, or going to the beach, you know. They kind of do their own little thing more now, um, except for the family vacations that we go on. So it's Memorial Day weekend. And like I said, they finish school on Tuesday. Danny and Jordan, they have finals. Um, pretty much, you know, done. Jordan's relieved. He's so happy. <laughs> I'm sure Danny is too. I haven't seen Danny for a week, but I'm sure he's excited too. That's, you know, it, I mean, it's nice to have that part done in a way at their age. I'm sure they're excited until, you know, and college is very different even though it's more of an adult but it's an, an harder harder in a way I mean for them it might not be so hard because they're pretty smart they and Jordan so they're I'm sure they'll be fine they'll do fine in college but you know they have more control of what they do you know they're adults so so the, they're they're really happy about that stage the college and you know having more independence I guess so they had, um, this week also, they had Pride Week, they call it, the school where every day they have, they do something at school to show their school pride. And one day they, you know, they dress in their school colors. Another day they have each class, each like freshman, sophomore, juniors and seniors, which is 9th, 10th, 11th, and 12th graders. They each are assigned a color class color when they become freshmen when they start ninth grade and they carry out that class color throughout the four years of their high school career and so they, they need they wear one day they have 
class color. Jordan's class color was blue. He wore a blue t-shirt. Sean was green. He wore a green t-shirt. So you show your class colors and you get points. Apparently, the way they do it, they have teachers give you points if you wear your class colors and how much of your class color you wear. And, you know, then another day they had um, school colors, which our school colors are maroon, a dark, maroon, white, and white. I mean, sometimes they wear black too, but it's maroon and white, and there's our school colors. Um, so you wear your school colors, and then you get points for that. And then there was a couple other things. I don't quite remember what else there was. And then at the end of the week, they, the teachers take a vote. There's certain teachers that vote, and one class wins, and the, the singers win. And Sean was like, yeah, the, the singers won, of course, because, you know, it's your last year in school. But not always the singers win. And so they got, you know, they got, got recognition that they won. Um, spirit, spirit Week, they call it. Daisy is buying this T-shirt. Come here. Come here. So they won. Um, they got sunglasses, some white and white and, and a high Nina. Come over here. Come say hi to the camera. They got white and um, black sunglasses. I don't have them on yet. I think Jordan brought them to the office. All the singers got that. And they got a T-shirt, which says the local, uh, not the local, Lion's Pride, because the lions are mascot mascot for their high school. And then it says Battle of the Classes Champions on the T-shirt. So that's what they won. Um, Jordan has a morning. Yeah, I'm sure, I don't know if he's going to wear it, but probably will, you know, around the house or whatever, playing soccer practices. Uh, what else? They had, oh, that's what I want to tell you about. Spooky. They had... Oh, I have to go get it. Give me one second. Hold on a minute. Come here, Nina Daisy. Okay, I'm back. Um, they had, I don't have the week here, but they had Monday was twin day. So you're supposed to, in your class, you're supposed to pick someone to dress like or, you know, make yourself look alike and dress the same colors. So Jordan and two of his other friends, not Danny, but two of his other friends, did triplets. They, the three of them, it was not just twin, they were the three of them. They went and bought a wig. It was actually more like a, oh gosh, it had a headband and into here, like a, a mullet kind of thing. They bought it and they wore that. I'm not sure if they wore the same color t-shirt, but this is what it looked like. Well, this is the wig. This is the package of the wig. Um, it had a headband and like long hair, as you can see the guy in the advertisement is wearing. Um, I don't have the wig on me. I think Jordan took it to the office. You might, you might, <laughs> you guys might see it in a video someday. I don't know because I wanted to show it to you. Um, and it was really cute. And then he came when he came back home. The wig, the girls, or one of the girls, actually did little braids on the wig on all three boys. They um, did like little braids on it. It was really cute, actually. Um, I'm sure they have. They'll have probably. I hope they put, take a picture for the yearbook. That would be neat. But that was twin day. Was Monday, yeah. This, that they dressed um, like twins, I guess. So triplets, the three of them. Uh, what else went on this week? I think that was, that's it um, for this week for them. You know, it was a kind of a, you know, end of the week for Jordan and Danny, the end of the school year. They have, like I said, they have one more day of finals Tuesday, and that's it, and they're done. Um, and then they have a busy week, too, that next week, even though they're done with school, with academics. They have a lot of things coming up for before graduation. Graduation is June 5th, and I know I've talked about it a lot. I'm so excited though because I can't wait to plan his graduation. I've been making a list actually. He's of people like family. We have a very big family on my husband's side, on Jordan's dad's side. So I've been making a, a list of everybody 
for the invites and uh, close family friends that we're going to invite. And then Jordan has to make his list of what friends he wants to invite to for the for his graduation party. We're going to have it at the house, outdoors, hopefully outdoors, because we're going to rent some tents and tables and all that and chairs and decorate it. I bought tons of decorations, which I will show you in one of the videos I do. So I'm so excited about it. I'm so excited about the graduation party. Um, but that's only going to be in ju sometime in July, more than likely at towards the middle to end of July. And the reason, which you, a lot of you know, is because Jordan and Danny Max are leaving the day after their graduation on June 6th. They're going to Texas. Um, they were supposed to go to California, but they are not. They were supposed to go to California, but they decided not to. I'm not sure why they decided not to. I'm thinking they decided not to because of Max is still in school. So he, you know, Max is already going to be missing some school the week they go to Texas. Um, and I'm sure it's, you know, he, I mean, he's only a freshman, but still, they have a lot of work, and Max is a high honor student also. So there's a lot of work. So when you miss a day, it, you know, it really backs you up a lot. So I'm sure Max has got, you know, told the teachers and has everything um, arranged where he gets all his makeup work beforehand or brings it with him to Texas because they're going to be there for almost a week. So, and I'm think that's probably why they're they not going straight to California because then Max would be missing almost two weeks of school, which is, that's too much, you know, and he might not, you know, you could only miss so many days of school also, you know, before you fail. Um, <clears throat> So they will be in Texas, and then I know right after they come back to, I have somebody at the door, Jordan's best friend, Austin, at the door. i got to go open the door. Hold on a minute. It's Austin. Come over here.